Hello and welcome to the advert for my 1999 Land Cruiser Colorado. It's a 3.4 V6 petrol VX with 137,000 miles and a couple of owners on the logbook. The last owner uh, who I got it from owned it for 20 years and they use it as a family car so it's not been off-roaded uh, certainly not in the last 20 years and prior to then it was nearly new so I doubt it had been used off-road there lovely clean car needs a polish needs a little bit of love um, I've bought it purely as a project and quite frankly haven't got time to do anything with it so I just decided to to move it on really rather than it just sit because it's too nice so I'm going to walk you around it show you underneath engine bay running that sort of thing interior and uh, if you're interested give us a shout so we'll start off at the front and work our way around so it's close up on the leading edge of the bonnet i think i don't think this car's ever had paint i think it's completely original um but it could could it, i think uh, if you were to polish it it would come up amazingly well i've not touched the bodywork on it um but even you know even without a polish it still looks pretty smart so yeah the front uh leading edge of the bonnet there's a couple of little chips here and there bit of a bit of a chip there what you'd expect um tiny bit of a bubble there scratches these would all come out um bit of a bubble on the front there i'm being picky i know it's a 25 year old car grill's nice Headlamps are nice, not cracked. Bumpers nice. It's nice that it's got the body coloured bumpers. So we'll go down the driver's side. Wheels do need a refurb. They're bloody awful. Uh, the tyres and well, what's the date on the tyres? Oh, they're cheap, cheap and cheerful tyres. Um, but they've got plenty of tread on them. They're all, all season tyres. And we'll just have to poke our heads into the wheel arch. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to see what's going on there. There you go, you can see the chassis leg there. I'll, 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 if you carry on watching the video, I'll um, poke the camera underneath the car so you can have a look, but we'll do the body work in the interior first. So yeah, all of the paintwork across the car is all basically the same which uh, is nice and original paint but will need a polish and also if i was keeping it i'd get these pinstripes taken off and um polish it all up and then reapply new new ones um side moldings are all good no no major damage on this side rear wheels the same you can see the chassis there behind the rear wheel and then in in there you've got some surface rust but nothing nothing crazy at all apparently these rust quite badly and this one seems seems decent to be fair paint loss on that corner rear lights are a little bit cloudy as they always are and then the passenger side some missing bits of the pinstripe there i don't know how that's happened wheel the wheels are all in the same condition they just need repainting a bit of a scratch there which i reckon would mop out that just seems to be in the lacquer colorado badge is faded some superficial marks again down the side but that would definitely polish out so bodywork nice and original very correct just needs um, a nice clay and a polish and it'd come up very, very well. This side step, which I'd personally get rid of, both sides if I was keeping it, has got a bend in it there. So I don't know, don't know how that's happened, but that's quite common, I think, on these. What's going on there? That's, um, that's just some bird poo. That, that looks like um, dents and scratches, but it would clean off. Nice little period. Club Toyota badge there. Let's see if we can look at the roof. No rust around the sunroof. 
roof's all very straight. It's a little bit of a bit of a ding going on there. So we'll do the engine and then we'll do the interior. So the, in terms of mileage, the next service, I don't know if you can see it on there, 137, 139, oh, okay, so it's not due a service. And um, basically it's just nice and original. It's had a, see it's had a new alternator recently. Engine sounds great. Radiator looks all right. So that's door card, bit of damage on there. I think that'll probably glue back. You can probably do something with that. The carpets are good. They, if you wet back to them, they'd come up well. Seats are a bit worn, typical, typical of a Land Cruiser. You could get a leather um, restoration cream in grey to sort that out. It's the same pretty much on both seats. Back seats, very good. There's a little panel missing there. There's a little thing missing off that. Quite like this, it's quite cool, isn't it? Being a VX, it's got all the cool shit in it. That's the dashboard. It does look nice, doesn't it? That needs, needs replacing. It's got the eight seats all present and uh, correct. It's also got, I don't know if these are genuine Toyota, um, but roof bars, so they're not fitted. Headlining's all right. There's a dirty mark there, which would probably clean off, but no, no major rips or tears. Door panel's good. So have a look underneath. It's a bit of surface rust on that rear section there. Exhaust back box is new, relatively. The chassis rails look perfect. Bit of surface rust there. Let's go under behind the rear wheel passenger side. It's very clean and tidy, basically. No signs of weird rust issues. Just do the same on the driver's side. We did already have a look, a look there, didn't we? But go under here. Has had some exhaust works. So I can see that there's a new, new bracket there, and the midsection looks new. I think the MOT is something like February next year. I'll put it on the advert. But no, it's clean underneath. It just wants a nice clean wheels painting. These things taking off and uh, I reckon it'll make a lovely car. Got two keys and two fobs. There's the other fob is there. Let's just jump in and Lovely. I don't know what all that stuff does, but it's pretty cool. It's got 
obviously aerial uh, heated mirrors rear heat controls this is all good cruise control being a VX it's got all the all the toys on it just have another look while it's running outside Headlight out. I haven't driven it on the road, but I've driven it around the farm track, which I'll do now. It all seems very nice. I don't think there's much wrong with it at all, but it's sold as a project, as is. So I'm advertising it as being fine to the best of my knowledge. I've got nothing to hide about the car, um, but if you drive it and it breaks down on the way home, then that's the risk that you take because I can't personally vouch for it being 100% perfect. Um, it's being sold with no warranty and as a project so it goes into reverse fine in fact I'll drive it back up to the top it's an awesome car the only reason I'm selling it is because I've got a Land Rover and um this car is just surplus to my requirements so yeah there we go thanks for watching if you've got any questions give me a shout if you want to buy it and you live far away i would recommend that you don't drive it even though it's moted or you could drive it but i can't guarantee that it's 100 percent perfect um and if you want me to have it delivered i'd use shipley for a quote and yeah there we go so if you're interested get in touch it's a lovely car it just needs a good home mm -hmm.